In recent days, we've been getting ample amounts of news from Stephen Palaz and the Bank of Canada in regards to interest rate hikes. 25 basis points yesterday it went up, first time since 2010. Now, Stephen Palaz has said that there is no guarantee that there'll be another interest rate hike this year. I find that highly unlikely, but I'm sure he's just covering all the bases. You never know what the blowback's going to be from an interest rate hike when you haven't had one in seven years. Now, he's saying that he doesn't expect the interest rate hike to affect the real estate market at all. In fact, he says there might have been a bit of a bubble being created with such low lending rates and that the greater Toronto area was maybe the most uh, significant of that bubble. But they've had a bit of a pullback in recent months. And it's probably a good thing because he figures the real estate market probably needs somewhat higher lending rates for us to find that sweet spot between growth and stability where people can still pay their bills. Now, Yesterday, the loony on this news was up over 1% against the greenback. Now, Mr. Palaz says he's also waiting for a few other shoes to drop, including the NAFTA agreement, Mexico, United States, Canada. He really wants to see how this plays out before he makes any more drastic considerations in regards to the interest rate. Now, I found myself a common man. A man of the street, a man from Canada who has an opinion about the interest rate hike, about the loony going up against the greenback, about mortgages in the greater Toronto area and the price of housing across Canada. We've got a man who knows everything that you need to know about NAFTA. Sir, could you please tell me what you think? Nobody cares what you think, Nancy. Stephen Palaz told us everything we need to know. I'm Cody for Wall Street Breakdown. I expect another interest rate hike this year. Stephen Palaz playing it a little closer to the vest. For Nancy, I'm Cody. Wall Street Breakdown. 